Auzubillahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum My name is Shuaib Khan and welcome to MaxAfter.com uh, We are back with another tutorial and uh, I'm sure you must have seen similar tutorials but I wanted to do it anyway because I've used particular with it and there are some other useful methods that we can discuss during this tutorial and that could come handy could be used in many other ways So as you can see that um, with this method we have got more control with the elements to create the line and it looks very cool as well so are you guys ready? let's start the tutorial okay if you want you can watch the final rendered video in Max After's blog let's first start make a comp to create this element here you need to make a small one uh, has to be 100 and 100 yeah. and the time is fine okay and go to layer new solid you make it white color say OK and then we go here and we press it and we get lips tool and then we just double click on it I'll come here so now what we need to do is just control D on your keyboard we change this one to s the second one to subtract and we come down to the expansion and we'll put minus 6 here and what we do is we just control D it again and this time we change it to add and we come down to m mask expansion again and I think minus 28 is fine so we can also put a small expression here so that we want it to you know constantly beat so alt and left click on the stopwatch what we do is we go 10 and 10 so in that way you'll just keep on you know thumping right so let's go and create another comp um, comp is up to you, whatever you want to create, I'll create HDTV 720 and say OK right now what we do is, um, this is our circle right, right circle, circle touch OK and we drag it into our main comp and the next thing that we do is we introduce our particles so we go to layer new solid and we call it particles right okay and then we go to particular and we type here and we just drag it and we get our particles here so you come down not much to do here what we do is basically if you've done my butterfly effect tutorial a similar kind of effect so what you, you need to do is you need to attach the particles to the circle element so for that what you do is we go to our particles we go to the emitter what we do is, since we are we're working with X and Y position, uh, we are not be dealing with Z, so we'll forget that and we'll work with uh, this is X and this is Y, of course. What we do is, now we press P here and then we go up again. Then we click again, Alt, left click. Right, now what we do is we select this and we pick whip and we come down. If you push it down, it will automatically come up so what we do is we just drag it on position and we've got this long um, expression here in this expression what it says that the particle xy position has been connected uh, to the position xy of the circles so now if you move the circle the particles will move it which you're not going to see now but we'll see it in a second so, uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to move our position uh, of the circle you know across uh, like a heart rate monitor machine so for that what we do is either we can go through like with the position keys you know creating position keys um, like this and but the problem is it's very hard to you know to create keys like this you know so what we do is we're not going to go through that method what we can do is we can add separate XY position so what we do is we just add it to our circle touch here and now we can move it individually which gives us more control you know so what we can do is let's say if it's here uh, if you put it here and and we put a keyframe here for X position and we go to the end of the of the timeline and then we can just drag it across we can move the X position so now if you see that we've got the X position separately so at the same time now we can um, add the Y positions but we do that in a second 
Now first let's fix the particles. So let's put this to 0, 0, 0. It's a line here now. So what we do is we go to particles here. We'll change the life we to match it with our timeline. So we can just put um, 6 here so it don't disappear. And, um, and we come down and we change this transfer mode to screen. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, put Y position keys for, for the circle here. So when it, come, when it reaches here, we want it to move uh, Y positions to move. So we can put a keyframe here. And if you hit U on your keyboard, we'll have a keyframe here. So if, you, if it moves forward, then you can just, it's up to you how, how you want to move uh, your element. So you can just move it like this. Now the first few are, of course, small ones. The first movement is, of course, small, so we move it across a little bit more. And we go in this time probably minus 20. So it goes up and we move again and it comes down again which is probably this time 200 and we move this and then we just put minus 200 here so it goes up and then it comes down again to let's say zero so now we've got these keyframes what we can do is we can copy these and we can just move ahead on time in time and then we just control V simple so that it moves again. So the position keys are up to you, you know, if you want to make them nicer, you can play around with them. But this is the main idea here, as you can see. So one thing we, we can do is we go back to the circle uh, layer by Alt and left click. And go in here and we can just turn on the blur so it looks cool as well. And we go to the main one and you see now the blur will be applied to it and it's moving. If you open it and so now the blur is applied. Okay, as you can see that uh, we are running out of uh, particles here. So we we go back to our particles and what we do is we increase the particles, of course. Let's increase it to 1,000. So till here is fine. Uh, so the next thing that we can do is we want to add another layer of particles because as this point moves, uh, it's thicker from where the, this point is and goes thinner, you know, as it's leaving a trail of this line. So what we do is we control D and we select this particle again here. We turn the life down to probably 2 and size to probably 8. So it's bigger here. And we go to size over life, of course. We want we don't want it to be flat, we want it to, you know, it's bigger when it submits and it dies with time. So as you can see, that's, it's thicker from here and thinner from there. So you can increase the size if you like, to whatever size you like. Okay, now let's add the other things. Let's add a background to it. Layer, new, solid. Well, you can choose any color. But let's supply a ramp to our background here. Drag it at the bottom. Let's change this color to blue and this color to we can make this one more soft blue. Right. Okay, we can have another control D this one and we can just go and add a grid to it. And if press E and you delete the ramp you don't need it. You can change this to um if you right click on it and you say blend mode to add and of course you want it to be of uh, blue color something like that and then you can change the corner point to width slider and make it around 72.5 and also another thing that you can do is we can add control D and change this one to stencil Okay, and you can come down and change this to 7, and so it gives us this um, dotted line. It looks cool. And the next thing what we can do is, again, we can just um, you can name this grid. Of course, um, this is our BG. And then what can we can do is control D this one again, effect, and delete the second one. And let's just play around with this one for a second. Make this smaller, probably and change this and put it behind this one 
and we just call T and change this to probably 20 and you can also right click and blending mode to add it's already add so the next thing what we can do is this one is press T on your keyboard and you get opacity so you can change this to 50 as well you know we don't want it to be too heavy and we select all these particles and circle layers and right click and blending mode to add probably then what we can do is also we can add a glow to it apply glow and the glow intensity is um, fine what we do is uh, we want to add a, an expression to glow intensity I want the glow intensity to to match with, with the circle in the middle so for that what we do is alt left click the stopwatch and we just write the same expression wiggle 10 and 10 so now it will react you know accordingly so it can it the now it reacts with the with the circle here you know so it looks cool right the next thing that we can do is we can add glow to our particles as well both of them and glow to this one as well so that looks nice now okay another thing that we can do is um, add another layer layer new solid and uh, make it a bit dark color I put it on the top and we click on the lips tool uh, double click on it and we go to subtract and press F and feather it out so it kind of looks nice like that and another thing that you can do is the new adjustment layer and apply a bulge to it we'll just write bulge here and what you do is when you get bulge just put it here and just make it big so it kind of gives you a feeling of you know of a monitor not too much but um, this is just about right you know you come here to bulge and change this to probably minus two or point point three that looks cool now and another thing that you need you want the scan lines to go across the the monitor for that what you do is layer new solid and just change it to white draw a mask around it which is rectangular mask draw another one on top of it and change this to subtract and press F and then you can just feather it out you know and then you can just change this to uh, blending mode to add as well okay then you can control T and probably 20 is fine and for now let's move to 50 another thing I just want to do is apply a Venetian blinds to it and change this to 90 and probably to 6 so that we see these nice lines here like scan lines so what we do is now we just have to move it so just bring it down position to and go to 2 seconds and just move it up we, we wanted to make it a loop so what we can do is alt and left uh, click on the, on the stopwatch and we just write loop out type is equal to cycle Oops. and so we keep on looping and put the adjustment layer on top of it and then you go to photo filter and you can adjust the color a little bit as well and you just put green add green to it so it looks nice here and these are your lines press T and probably make it to 35 okay if you see this uh, render uh, the preview we want the second part first part but the particles on top we want them to die earlier you know a bit early because their trail is a bit um, two seconds long uh, so what we do is we go back to our particles as you can see that this this trail here if you close it if you select the particles you can see that the trail is pretty long so what we can do is uh, 
it's uh, it's two seconds. So what we can do is change it to point one. Let's feather it more, probably. Yeah. So now if you see, uh, and if you go to the other one, if you select the other ones and you want to make clear difference between these two, what you can do is uh, we go to size here and we can change the size here to four, so it becomes smaller. As you can see that this is a trail, the trail is smaller than you know the the particles which is actually emitting. So this is how it looks once uh, after a preview. As you can see, it's all this, these uh, lines and the elements and the scan lines are reacting with each other, so it looks very cool. You can play around with it and get better results, you know. And my other file is attached as well, where I, where I spend more time with it, so you can use that one as a reference. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, my name is Shweb Khan from maxafter.com. Assalamu alaikum.